Well, happy week of Thanksgiving to everybody. Ready for a children's reading from Building on the Rock. Lost. That's L-O-S-T, exclamation point. One cold, wintry afternoon, Willie was sent to deliver a message for his parents. He had to walk about three miles. As he started out, the snow began to fall very fast. However, Willie bravely hurried on. At last, he was able to deliver his message and was soon on his way home again. As he started back, Willie walked as fast as he could, but the snow fell faster and began blowing into drifts. To make matters worse, night was coming and he was still far from home. The snow was soon more than knee deep, making it very difficult to continue. As darkness fell, Willie could no longer see where he was going and soon strayed from the path. He was lost. I don't know if any of you have ever been lost. I don't mean driving around in a new area and suddenly you're not quite sure where you are and you have to stop and ask someone or ask Siri, Siri, get me out of here. Uh, I'm talking about maybe you're on a hiking trail. You're out hiking one day in the Smokies or maybe even just up at Jones Gap. And I uh, know Jones Gap is a favorite place of ours in, in uh, on the North Carolina, South Carolina border. Um, not Jones Gap, Frozen Head. That's what I was thinking of. Frozen head. And you suddenly, you're not quite sure where you are or how you got there. It can be pretty scary. Especially late in the day as the sun's beginning to go down in the sky. So anyway, Willie's no doubt very cold and very scared. As he started back, Willie walked fast. He got in the snow, darkness fell. Soon, he strayed from the path and he was lost. Willie stumbled on through the horrible darkness, fighting his way against the bitterly cold wind and blinding snow. However hard he tried, he could not find his path again. Well, of course, it's all covered up with snow. He no longer had any idea where he was going and his strength was beginning to fail as he struggled on through the storm. Suddenly, <clears throat> excuse me, suddenly Willie fell into a deep hollow which had drifted full of snow. There he lay up to his chest in snow, unable to get out. The more he struggled, the deeper he sank. To make matters even worse, Willie realized that the snow was becoming deeper all the time. Soon it would cover him entirely. All hope of escape seemed to be cut off, and there was only one thing left to do. Call for help. Willie, half-choked voice, his half-choked voice, no doubt, because he was fighting back tears. Willie's half-choked voice began to call, Lost! 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 Not knowing whether anyone would be able to hear him, Willie continued calling as loudly as he could with his failing strength. When Willie didn't return home, his parents became very worried. His father decided to go out and search for him. He soon found how impossible it would be to find anything in the dark, stormy night. After searching in vain for more than an hour, the father was thoroughly exhausted and began to fear that he would have to give poor Willie up as lost. That'd be a terrible feeling for a father, for a daddy. But listen, he heard what he thought was a faint sound in the distance. With the wind howling, he couldn't be sure exactly which direction the sound was coming from. But he thought to himself, could it be true? Was he hearing Willie, or was it just him imagining, hoping that he was hearing Willie? He listened carefully and heard the voice again, more distinctly this time. Lost! 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 
It was Willie's voice. Joyfully, the father let out a shout to Willie to keep calling so he could follow the sound. He soon found the treacherous hollow where poor Willie was helplessly trapped, and with much time and great effort, he rescued his dear son. He rescued Willie from a narrow escape from death. Great joy and thankfulness flooded through Willie when he was rescued and safely returned to his home. Never before had his humble home looked so inviting or his parents seemed so very dear to him. Willie's experience in this true story can serve as a picture of the spiritual experience of conversion. When God begins to work savingly in people's hearts, they begin to see their sinfulness and to fight against it. But eventually their sin overpowers them and they experience their to total lost, totally lost condition. They need to be saved. They need someone else to save them. They know they cannot save themselves. All their efforts only sink them deeper in the pit of sin. Then they begin to cry and call in prayer. Help! I'm lost! What surprise, joy, and love is experienced when God the Father finds his lost children and delivers them through Jesus Christ. What thankfulness fills their hearts when they are saved and restored. Some people experience these things in a short and sudden way, as Paul in the Bible. For others, it's more gradual and slow through their childhood into early, early adolescence, like Timothy. The length of time doesn't matter, but conversion must be real in our lives. Faith in Jesus Christ must be there, and it must be real. Conversion is experienced in a way of misery, deliverance, and thankfulness. Can you find the experience of these three items? Misery, deliverance, and thankfulness. Can you find these three items in Willie's experience? Well, of course, the answer is yes, and I hope that you can find it in yours as well, that you might leave this little video session with renewed hope and joy in our great God who saves sinners. All right, that's it for this week. God bless.